Hi everybody. So I'm coming to you today to issue a challenge. Um, it's called the Greater Challenge. Uh, I believe God is getting ready to manifest some things in us, to us, and through us. Um, but I believe that there are some things that we've got to change in our thinking before that can happen. So I kept hearing this question, who do you say you are? And I'm convinced that I am who God says I am. I have what he says I can have. I can do what he says I can do. Um, there's more to me than meets the eye. <laughs> and I refuse to allow my present condition, my present location, or situation to be the definition of who I am. Where I am cannot dictate who I am. And I encourage you to, to know that same thing. There's greater on the inside of you. And we've got to be determined to manifest it. Um, so I want us to grow together. I wanted to issue this challenge for the next 21 days. There is um, scientific evidence uh, that when we speak, we create our atmosphere. If we speak positive, things change positively. If we speak negative, then things tend to go that way. There's also psychological data that says that in 21 days you can form a habit. You can change your way of doing things and change your way of thinking in a 21 day span. And y'all, I am so determined that by the time August rolls in, who you see looking at you right now will not be the same person. Um, I thank God for what has taken place during this kind of divine pause. I know that COVID has ravaged some people's lives. Um, I pray for all of us that have been affected in some way or the other by COVID. COVID is um, an enemy. However, in the midst of that whole thing that's been going on now, three, four months with COVID, God has begun to do a work in those of us who would submit to the process. And so I'm just wanting to join with those of you who are willing to take this challenge with me to change our thinking. I believe that if we think bigger, we can have bigger. Um, if we think greater, we can have greater. So back to the original question. Who do you say you are? Um, I think we end up asking, we, we live in a time where we want approval, you know, um, even so many times when we post, I think, cause I was reminded of the question that Jesus asked, um, his disciples, who do men say that I am? And they threw out some answers and then he went further to say, who do you say that I am? And they told him what they believed. And then he Peter got it right, but even if Peter hadn't had the revelation, Jesus began to tell them who he was. He had to know, despite whether anybody around him knew or not, he needed to know who he was in order to fulfill his purpose. That same thing is going on with us. And I think so many times, you know, even when, when we make a post, we may not, may not realize that the motive behind the post is almost asking like, who do people say that I am? I think sometimes maybe some of the questions we pose to our inner circle, the confirmation that we look for or the validation that we look for um, is cloaked by other questions. But in essence, what we're saying to them is, who do you say I am? But more than anything, y'all, we have to know who we are because who I say I am determines what I have the word says you have what you say so we're going to be breaking habits and forming new ones we are going to create this positive self-talk we're going to have positive energy and even while I've been trying to practice it myself, I'll find myself going to say something crazy like, 
Oh my goodness, I am so tired. No, I'm not. No, I am not. I am energized. I have the energy that I need to get through this. And so it's going to be a work in progress. But when you catch it, correct it. So if you talk about yourself differently, you'll see yourself differently. Um, you'll never possess what you don't believe. You might get it, but you won't possess it. And I promise y'all, I don't want to step into what I think is a whatever of my dreams and then have to leave it. <laughs> when If I leave it, I want to be progressing into something greater. Um, so I feel like in order for us to do that, we have to have the right mindset that when I step in this door, I'm not getting kicked out. If I leave this door, it's going to be of my own volition. It's going to be my own choice. And it's going to be because I'm going higher. I'm going greater. Um, dare to open your mouth and tell yourself until you believe it. There's something, it's not enough to think it. Thinking is a start. But you have to open your mouth because life and death is in the power of your tongue. So you got to get the wag in that tongue saying some things that create. When we speak, there's a power that leaves and things are dispelled around us. Darkness parts when we speak light. So 21 days from now, July 28th, 2020, or whenever you're watching this, start from that day and make it. Do 21 days. But for us, it's going to be July 28th, 2020. Whoever's watching me now, we're going to talk out loud to ourselves. We're going to form a new habit. We're going to write a new narrative. Even when I was thinking about this, um, I, it's like I heard the Lord saying that he's putting the pen in your hand. And I'm thinking a pencil, and he's like, no, not a pencil. Because he doesn't even want you to have the false assumption that you can erase anything from your past. You can't erase anything from your past. But what you can begin to do is right where you believe you're headed. So I'm challenging you to make this about you. This is not about your child. This is not about your spouse. This isn't about your parents, your coworkers, your boss. It's not about any of those people. This is about you. You have the ability to change you. So this is about you. And I declare, Y'all, if we commit to this thing for 21 days, when we commit to this thing for 21 days, 21 days of consistent, intentional, positive thoughts and affirmations, we will experience breakthrough. I'm certain of that. I know I'm coming with the testimonies and I hope that you're going to join me, but I'm coming with testimonies. So this goes back to you. Who do you say that you are? And if it doesn't sound like God, don't say it. We know how God thinks about us. We know what he says about us. If it doesn't sound like what your father would say about you, fix it. Fix it. So, think, say, see. One of the most profound things I ever heard in my life, so simple yet so profound, was Doris Bush. Many years ago, it had to be 15 to 20 years ago, I heard my cousin Doris saying, say it, say it, say it till you see it, see it, see it. She just had that thing going, say it, say it, say it till you see it, see it, see it. Y'all, it's so simple, but it's so true and it's so profound. So I'm challenging you, think right first. Think it. Say it. See it. Now, there's another step that I'm inserting in there. After thinking it, I'm going to write it because I assure you that somewhere during this 21 days, we're probably going to have a challenging day. And if we're not careful, we'll speak incorrectly. But if you have it written down, you can declare what your lucid self said <laughs> and not talk out of a fog. So we're going to be intentional. We are going to kill the negative voices that have been in our heads. The word says in Mark eleven twenty three that we have what we say. And during this time, we're not going to say, I hope or I want. We're going to say, I will. We're going to say, I am. And at the end of this thing, y'all, 
there is no telling where we might be. So, I'm issuing to you the greater challenge. Challenge. Um, come on and grow with me. Let's grow together. Let's do this thing. Um, anybody who knows me knows this is a mighty push. Because never have you ever <laughs> seen me on here. But I am determined to do what God says I need to do to get where I'm supposed to be. So, remember y'all, we got to flutter before we can fly. But flying is in our future. I love y'all.